Hey everyone, it's Unearthed Collectors here. We are opening up a 2021 Prism Baseball Mega Box. This was from Target. You get one autograph. These were, I think, $60, so a little, little pricey. Um, but a hobby boxes probably run you, what, $80 to $100, somewhere in there. Um, you get one autograph, but there's also some exclusive cards. You get a couple silvers, um, green Pulsar Prisms. Uh, so, you know, you do get a little bit more than you would out of a blaster box out of these. We haven't opened up any other retail of this product, but a lot of times Panini does have some pretty good names in their draft picks. So let's see what we get out of this box. Yeah, definitely there is some good names that they have. Um, I have actually sold a couple of the Prism Draft Autos. I'm not anybody huge, but a yeah. couple of decent prospects, and they sell pretty well. Yeah, uh, they they sell significant for you know a large amount less than a Bowman would, but the colored parallels are cool. Yeah. Uh, my initial reaction to this would be stay far away from a $60 mega box and save your money to buy a $120 hobby box with five <coughs> autographs. Right. Right. Um, would be my initial uh, inkling, but it's hard to know. So yeah, let's so open go it ahead. up and find out. You get 11 packs, so one of them is your Prism Draft Picks bonus pack. But also, in the same uh, theme, if you're not really looking for the autographs and you're looking more for the parallels, this may be an option if you want to save some money. Yeah, the issue with this stuff is the parallels of these guys do not sell as well as uh, the autographs do. So or even close. Uh, Andrew Abbott, Green Pulsar. So that is one of the exclusives. It says yeah, you, you get, get three get, Green Pulsars and two Silvers. Yeah, is what 12 exclusive Hyper Reds, and, right which are those, and Purple Prisms, it says. Another Green Pulsar. Logan Henderson. Some of these are weird. They just have like no logo because yeah, they don't have. Weird. Some of them are like JUCO players, I yep. think, and so they just don't have their uh, logo. But Do they have international players in Panini products? Yes. Yeah, so it could but be. Like, there's a Julio Rodriguez right there. Yeah. You know, so definitely an interesting set. Not as collegey as it used to be. Um, there is obviously still a lot of like you know, there's a Virginia player and a Miami, but in the Eastern Carolina, but then you get some that are not right. uh, college affiliated. Right. So. Which is all right, because they're trying to include the bigger names. But the cards look sharp. They definitely have a nice look to them. Yeah, for sure. McDermott, Silver, Jordan McCants, Power Surge. That actually is really That's cool That's a cool insert. Allen. Yeah. And the Fireworks. Fireworks has been around. Fireworks insert has been around uh, Prism forever, I feel like. Yeah, certain sets like football and UFC, I think they look a lot better than other ones. but Yeah, the UFC ones do look nice. There's another Silver. Tanner Allen. So we got two silvers and two green pulsars so far. Now again with the hobby box at 120, we did not open one of those, but you're getting um, like probably ten numbered cards and five autographs for about double the price of what this would cost you. Right, right. So that's definitely something to think about uh, if you're looking at this and the versus you know to compare the two. There's a Hunter Goodman. Yeah, and one of the reasons that we do these videos. Uh, like this is just to uh, let you guys see what you can get out of a product like this could save you a lot of money um, or you, you might look at this and go hey I want to buy this uh, over a hobby box or you know whatever but at least it's a way for you to get a look now there's other videos out there already uh, with this product so this is not the first one by any means man we are getting like all pictures in our um, greens except for uh, maybe a couple but we only got four of them and yeah and what three, three pictures yeah so. we did get an extra one technically it says you're only supposed to get three so. all right well there you go we also have not got any numbered cards yet which is unfortunate no we have not i'm guessing those are going to be hard to find in uh retail because uh, if, if you don't get any numbered cards in here for just for, the, just for the price point compared to hobby that is pretty difficult yeah so that's a silver um carson williams and then Picky. All right, so yeah, overall, so far very lackluster. Yeah, I would say I'd be much more interested to probably spend my money on a hobby box. All right, let's see here. We have Robinson, and it looks like we have our autograph here, Matt McLean, and let's see, it's red. 
Chase, Chase Lee. Lee. That's a sweet looking card. Bama pitcher with the color match. It is cool. Yeah. Well, nice number looking. Because that'll be numbered to like 99 maybe. Yep. Yep. Five of 99. Pitcher, I'm guessing. It looks like a pitcher. Um. Yeah, hurler. Uh, ERA holder, Alabama. Yeah, oh, yeah. Alabama's yeah. all-time ERA holder, it says. All right, so that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. That's nice auto. Yeah. Um. And again, I just really struggle with the value at first. Like, if this was like thirty bucks, it might be different. But for for sixty, considering the price of what a hobby box is. It's just yeah. Tough. Now I don't know if um they're gonna come out with uh oh, the power surge is cool. I don't know if they're gonna come out with a Walmart version of this. You know how sometimes they do, and sometimes it's exclusive. I would target. So. If they do, I wonder if it will be the same price. I don't know. I don't know. They've been higher. Know. Walmart's been higher than Target, and if that's the case, I'd run far away because sixty bucks far is away from these in general. Right, just, sixty bucks is already steep. Now, if it was a two hundred or two hundred and fifty dollar hobby box, the sixty bucks would be a little bit more uh, reasonable. There he is from East Lake High School. Um, he, or did to say anything about where East Lake High School is? Colorado, All Star Week in Colorado? No, no. No, 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 no. Just uh, really go. Yeah. I don't know where East Lake. Sounds like Florida, but <laughs> yeah, who knows? Could be anywhere. All right, this is the uh, exclusive bonus pack. Twelve cards, and these are what pink, uh, or is it? Know, or are they purple red. too? Oh, say, red. Yeah, sorry, red. Red and, red and purple hybrids. So I'm guessing it's a combo red and purple. Yeah, they've done these these before. I think last year they had the okay, same okay. thing, where yeah. it's like, yep. Kind of weird. Yeah, they look nice, but the, I just don't like that. They should have just come up with something. Put something put, there. Put, put a rookie there, or yeah. something. Who knows? Harry Ford. Joe Rock. I don't think a big white Ryan dot Murphy. is the answer. No, I don't think so either. I don't. Yeah, why even do it then? Kind of interesting. Yeah, there's there's one right there. What is that, Auburn? Uh, that's Arizona. Oh, Arizona, yeah. Sorry, Arizona. Yep. Auburn is uh, different colors. Uh, Irving Carter and yeah I didn't really see any big names in there I saw that Ford guy maybe we missed somebody run far away that's what I have to say yeah I would say definitely glad I only bought one box of these wouldn't buy more unless this was supposed to be really good um, but for $60 you do get the one autograph let us know in the comments below did you buy uh, the blaster boxes and cello packs were those good? Um, did you buy a mega box? If so, how much um, you know, or what did you get out of it? Ninety-seven dollars for a brand new hobby box. Yeah, so with five autos. So for thirty-seven dollars more, more with free shipping right. on eBay, you can buy yourself a hobby box with five autos. So yeah. I really, really struggle with the value out of that. So they have to they have to adjust the retail prices again. I think they've gone too high. Uh, they were too low. People were flipping them. Now they're too high, at least some of them. It will be very interesting to see what Prism Football comes out at because those could be crazy high. I think, I think they'll price them the same. They don't have the know-how to... I mean, obviously, if they're pricing Prism Draft the same as Prism NBA Megas, there's no real difference there. So yeah. I, my guess is it'll be the same Probably. 60 bucks or whatever, which is fine. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. But, yeah, they, yeah, who knows? That's, I'd stay far away. Buy a hobby box. Honestly, a hobby box I think would be kind of fun to do for 97 bucks. Five yeah. autos, not bad. But this, not so much. Yeah. Anyways, let us know in the comments below. In the past, these have been cheaper by far and... Uh, fun to do, but at this pr point, if they were forty bucks, okay. But sixty bucks, yeah. I mean, even at even at forty, I would struggle with it, just because sure. two of those you can get a sure get right a hobby right. or two a hobby. packs a hobby yep. or something. But yeah, just yeah. Talk. Anyways, all right, guys, thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. We have more videos coming up this week. Uh, I know we'll have some uh, show video next week, um, so stay tuned for that. Going to ship um, Shawana this weekend. Ship Shawana show Monday. video. Um, and more from Luke's store coming up in a yeah, while. So, so, yeah, we'll, we'll get some more footage from there. All right. Take care, guys. Have fun collecting. We'll see you soon.